Hi, this is Faris J, the Thought Gardener, and in today's video, I'd like to share three tips with you to help you navigate physical discomfort, physical illness. And these are energy and mindset techniques that have helped me have a lot more ease when something physical comes up. Like at the moment, I'm having a little bit of digestive issues, digestive discomfort. So this is what I've been doing to make it so much easier than it used to be. Years ago, I had IBS, irritable bowel syndrome, and it would really take its toll. Whereas now, I apply these techniques and I move through it so much faster and easier. So the first thing that I do, I check in and ask myself, how am I feeling? And that's not just a physical symptom, say if I'm feeling sluggish or if I'm feeling bloated, also how I'm feeling mentally and emotionally. Am I upset that this has come up? Am I anxious? Have I been stressed? Because there's such a mind-body connection. Often physical things, especially my digestive issues, can have a link to stress or am I overwhelmed? So I would look at those things first and foremost and that gives me really valuable material to then use later on. For example, in EFT tapping, say that I've been feeling overwhelmed, I can tap out that overwhelm, I can tap out any anxiety, which then makes it much easier to clear the physical issues. The second thing that I will do is I will talk to my body. I will ask my body, not what's going on, but what it, what it needs, what it requires, what is gonna help my body to feel better? So I will ask those questions straight to my body. I'll say, body, what, what do you need today? What's gonna to help you feel better today? And I, I do use sometimes kinesiology or sway testing to see if there are certain things that would help it. Like with my digestion, would I like lemon balm tea or chamomile tea or peppermint tea? Are there foods, are there medicines that are gonna support me through that? So that's where I utilize my energy system to, to help me ask my body, what's gonna make it easier to feel better here? And that makes a huge difference. Rather than just using my logical mind, well, I know peppermint's good for digestive issues, so I will use that, to actually tune directly into my body and see what it needs in that moment. It might want something different one hour than it would do the next hour or one day to the next day. So for me, it's really important to go straight to source and straight to my body like that. The third thing I do is take action. If my body has said it would like something, I will get that something, I will take that something. If it says it needs rest, I will do whatever I can in my schedule to create more time for rest. Taking action, so it can be pragmatic, changing my calendar, looking at what I have to do and prioritizing that so I could take more time off. And that could even just be a 15 minute nap, that might be all I'd require. It's also self-care and self-kindness, looking what other ways I can nurture myself while my body needs that extra care, what I can do for myself, if I'll do some energy work on myself, if I'll require some tapping, and then to do those things to support me. So it, it's that action, that doing, what can I do different to help myself feel better today? And it makes a huge difference, especially the self-care, and especially on that mental, emotional level. If I was overwhelmed, like I had a different video planned for this week and I wanted to do it on Monday and I was traveling and I didn't have time so I said I'd do it yesterday. And yesterday my body was not in a state to make a video. It, it just wouldn't have been kind to it. So it was that self-care which meant that I can get up a little earlier today and I still have time to make this video on, on the theme that's more relevant now and send that out and do that with ease. So doing all those things and including the EFT tapping. I have other videos if you watch one of my recent videos on EFT tapping for stress, even if you start doing that and get de-stressed, then do tapping for either the symptoms you're feeling and especially for anything else that's going on, any stress, any upset that could be contributing to that. And then to do the tapping in to how you would like to feel or to do visualizing how I would like to feel 
like I did last night for today, that I want to feel energized again, that I would like my digestive system to feel at ease again. And by having that focus of knowing where you're going and that focus being on what you desire rather than what's wrong, that also makes it so much easier to move through those times more gently and to resolve them quicker. So I hope that has been helpful for you. I know it really helped me yesterday. I've been Ferris J. The Thought Gardener. Bye for now.